50s, Universal Pictures put out a classic sci-fi horror film, The Thing. And it's been likened to a uh, carrot from outer space they dig up in the snow that had crashed in Antarctica on the south pole of this planet, dug it up, and then it was basically a shapeshifter uh, that would uh, devour its prey and then copy them. And then, of course, they got the John Carpenter classic in 1982, uh, which is probably one of the uh, best sci-fi horror films ever made, in my humble opinion. But you see, we live in the real world, and truth is stranger than fiction. No, we haven't had a alien that crashed millions of years ago in Antarctica that's been thawed out and is now at a research facility uh, absorbing the crew with an eye towards invading the mainland and taking over the entire biosphere of the planet Earth. No, 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 no. that's not happening. And of course, they're now re-releasing uh, basically a remake of the 1982 reviews I've read. No, I'm talking about the real thing. The real deal. I'm talking about genetic engineers, transhumans, working for the globalists, who in their own words admit, going back to the 1970s, that they had a plan to patent every major food crop and then every major life form life form on this planet and put artificial genes, genetics, DNA, RNA into them to manipulate viruses, bacteria. And now that's been done with tens of thousands of different species. In some cases, hundreds of different species are being spliced together. You know about spider goats that are part of part spider that produce body armor in their milk. What right about the super salmon? University studies have shown will extinct the normal salmon that are in the ocean. And these salmon, uh, different varieties, have been mixed with other fish, insects, plants. The list goes on and on. You see, that's the real thing. You're eating corn, you're eating a GMO potato, and it's had insect genes and other traits added to it. It's had pharmacological traits in the BT corn and other crops where a Pesticide is engineered to grow inside the corn to where field mice and insects can't eat it. If they do, they die. But then you were fed this. My point is, as we prepare to enter 2012, we have a global ruling class that are playing God and who, quite frankly, don't know what they're doing. And they were able to foresee with their futurists and their think tanks hiring the top minds in the world uh, what could be done uh, but they are endangering the planet itself while constantly distracting the public with fake environmental crises like carbon dioxide that is 0.0360 of the atmosphere the new world order simply put are people trying to play God they've studied how humans operate as if they were an alien coming here from a foreign planet. They have funded literally hundreds and hundreds of universities for more than 150 years to study every facet of psychological, spiritual, uh, physical processes that take place. And they have tested and refined incredible tools of social control, propaganda, chemical control through the water and food supply. This is all on record. The globalists have also, for at least 80 years, engaged in lethal chemical and biological as well as radiological tests on prisoners, foster children, military personnel. The list goes on and on. You know about injecting people with syphilis. You know about the horrors of children being radiated by the thousands in atomic studies. You, you know about forced sterilizations going on right into the 1980s, or at least you should know about that. That is only the tip of the iceberg. And it's being done to test these systems, but also to test the personnel and to create larger pools of individuals 
that will carry out these type of activities because they enjoy the power, because they believe the end justifies the means. The point is the global ruling class believe they are a separate species from us and openly write about this. They believe they have transcended the common man and are actively trying to poison and also socially dumb down the general population so that we will fit in to the mold and the typecast that they've made for us. So when you see movies like John Carpenter's classic or this new one uh, that just came out, remember that the real world is a lot stranger than what Hollywood screenwriters can come up with. And sure, it's not as sexy, it's not as shocking uh, as a young heroine fighting the monster from deep space. And there aren't bodies splitting apart and, 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 and spewing out tentacles with razor sharp teeth. And heroes standing up to it with flamethrowers and dynamite. No, in this war, the thing, the globalist system of control is simply taking over species after species, infecting every major food crop, every staple food animal, and splicing new systems into their DNA that irrevocably spread into the entire family. Take the case of corn, going back over a decade, close to 90% of all known corn varieties, and there are thousands originating uh, in Mexico, have now been infected. And the latest numbers I saw is that there is no known major cultivated crop unless it's in closed laboratories.